All right, guys, today's detail is a classic Sierra Classic 242 Bayliner. We do this boat every year, and uh, every year we deal with rust at the base of these stanchions. You can see it's pretty much everywhere. All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be using on and off hull and bottom cleaner for fiberglass. Good stuff, but if you decide to use it, be sure to read these directions because they might just save your life. All right. Not sure why this boat in particular gets worse than most that we do on an annual basis, but it just does. And if your boat has an issue like this, I'm going to hopefully help you understand at least what you can do to temporarily keep that at bay. All right, so we're treating this with easy on, easy off hull cleaner. I've got it in this spray bottle. Basically just saturating around that rust. And I'm gonna let it sit. It's gotta stay wet in order to do its work. Move on to this next one. Just try to protect this from dripping over everything else. Because if it drips down into here, that's gonna be a problem. It's okay for fiberglass, just not okay in a lot of the trim. Next, we're gonna do this really bad one. I'm not trying to necessarily get it on the stainless. I'm trying to get it below the stainless where the rust actually is. You don't want this sitting on stainless too long. It can kind of burn that a little bit too. Uh, obviously, you gotta do what you gotta do. But the main thing I'm trying to not do is get it dripping down in this aluminum down here if I can avoid it. Now the next one, again, pretty bad this year. I do this every year and every year it goes away and every year it comes back. So not sure exactly what causes it, but it's on a lot of boats. This one it happens to be pretty bad on. This is almost starting to want to drip here. But I'm going to make sure that it doesn't. key to this is having it wet. If the acid stays on there, it'll just keep that rust away. The other thing is, I'm not wearing gloves. You should. This stuff is not nice to your skin. If you get it on your skin, you immediately want to rinse it off with clear, fresh water. And again, watch for drips. All right, cut. This one looks like it's already almost all the way gone. Don't know how bad it was to be. All right, guys, so here's the progress update. That's all treated and looking good. This is all treated and mostly good. I've got a little bit back here still at work, but the front side getting a lot better. Again, this side's looking mostly good. Still a little bit back there that needs some finishing. This side looks much better. Up there's looking good. Up here is looking good. And over there looking good. Other side, same thing, rinse and repeat. All right, so then the next step is gonna be just neutralize this with fresh, clear water. Basically, I'm gonna rinse the whole boat but I'm gonna specifically really heavily rinse those areas that I've treated first to get that acid broken down once this is finished and ready. All right, hope that helps. If you've got a boat, that's what it takes. Um, note, I did get acid on my hands, it burns. I did get acid on my face, it burns. If and when you don't protect yourself right, flush with uh, clear water immediately and uh, keep doing it. You don't want to breathe this stuff in. It's real bad for your lungs too. So major safety concern, read the label before ever using this product. All right, peace.